Committee on Sustainable Energy has a number of activities in the energy area. Uh, clearly, in respect to the fossil fuel area, we've got some very key results that we're expecting. Sustainability for us has three distinct definitions. The first one we all know, it's about the environment, delivering on environmental objectives and environmental targets. The second one actually is equally important. It's all about uh, economic efficiency, making sure the system is operating as well as it can. The third aspect of sustainability is in fact political, making sure that the systems, the regulations, the policies are put in place to last for a long time. If we then go from that concept to the pathway to a sustainable future, we can't make that leap in one step. We have to actually transition to it progressively over time. So every single technology will have its role to play. We have to include coal-fired technology, we have to include energy efficiency, we have to include resource management. So from all the way up at the top, the resource development, down to the end user, the economic efficiency of light bulbs, etc., every technology has to play its role. So for us to be involved in fossil fuel uh, classification systems, it's a matter of efficient resource management, efficient resource development. And that's one of the many building blocks that we have moving forward to a sustainable energy future. And every technology has its role to play. The United Nations has a role that has many facets, many different dimensions to it. The first one, which is quite important, is the aspect of convening power. We are able to bring together experts from all over the world, from academia, from industry, from governments themselves, to gather together to discuss very technical and complex questions to arrive at answers that are solutions to the problem at hand. The second power that we have, which is very important that we bring to the table, is one of facilitation. There is the process of communication, of compromise, of dialogue, and the fact that we are able to arrive at a conclusion is a very important component of what we do. The third one, which comes after the end of the process, is one of dissemination. The fact that we're able to put a UN stamp saying that this has been discussed and approved by experts across the globe gives it greater acceptance, greater authority, and it makes it more applicable to different countries. That brings me to the final point that UNECE in particular as an organization, we are here to serve member states. And if our role is one of being involved in the process, it's to meet the needs and the requirements of our member states.